Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, we are going to be looking at the concept of isometric drawing. So isometric drawing or isometric projection, we are still um, saying the same thing. So this video is a, is a part one of the video series under isometric drawing because this is a video series and uh, one thing about this video series is that at the end of this video series, you'll be able to understand what isometric drawing is and also be able to draw any, any objects any object i repeat any object under isometric drawing so if that interests you do make sure you watch this video to the end and also the videos that would follow uh, this particular video under isometric drawing That's... so when we talk about isometric drawing isometric drawing is a pictorial method of drawing in which the horizontal axis are drawn at an angle of 30 degrees now let me show you some of the drawings that we are going to be looking at in the course of this video series under isometric drawing now this is the, what we are having here is an isometric drawing now with the definition i gave earlier so let me just do a free and sketch of what we have here let me just do it on this board uh, on this sheet here so we'll talk i said isometric drawing is a pictorial drawing so this is just a free and sketch so now using this to explain the definition i gave earlier about isometric drawing i said the words the horizontal axis are drawn at an angle of 30 degrees. One significant thing about isometric drawing, isometric projection is that the horizontal lines, these lines here, are the horizontal lines. This particular line here, this one, this, you know, all these lines, they are the horizontal line. They are drawn at what? At an angle of 30 degrees. Look at it. The angle here is 30 degrees. The angle here is 30 degrees. Including this, if you had to put it like this, is 30 degrees. And that's what I'm having here. You see, all these horizontal lines are drawn at an angle of 30 degrees. But the vertical lines are, these are the, why these ones are the vertical line? These ones. So that is one significant thing about isometric drawing. The horizontal lines are drawn at an angle of 30 degrees. And they are pictorial view. I mean, pictorial drawings. So, this is, this is what I... Now, let's look, look at some of the... Um, drawings that we are going to be looking in the course of this video series. Now, this is one here. You know, I have a lot of them that we are going to be covering. All these are what are isometric drawings. You can see they are at 30 degrees. The horizontal lines uh, side are what are at 30 degrees. If you check out all of them, you can see. So, like I said, at the end of this video series, you'll be able to draw any, draw any objects that you are asked to draw under isometric drawing or isometric projection. I believe you'll be good to go. So, these are some of the drawings that we are going to be looking at one after the other in the course of this video. I have a lot of them. Now, and these drawings, I divide them into three. You can see this is another one. I divided them into three such that now the ones that we are going to be starting with are the ones that are just going to be the regular isometric drawing that you might have come across or maybe that you are familiar with, like the ones that you are looking on your screen like now. All these ones, I just term them like the regular ones. All this. Now, there are some that one of the side... Now, there are some that one of, so, uh, one of the side is not really... Uh, at 30 degrees, that's one of the horizontal, for example, like this one. If you look at this line here, you notice that it is not at 30 degrees, but it's an isometric uh, projection. It's an isometric drawing. Look at this line, it's not at 30 degrees. We have, I have another one here. You can see this is not at, at 30 degrees. So all this I'm, what I'm going to be putting you through in the course of this video series. Now let's look at something else. Look at this. If you look at this, you can see this curve. It's also at uh, 30 degrees, an isometric projection. Look at this circle itself. Now, this is this top here represents a circle. So, I'm also going to be putting you through like how to draw a circular object or how to draw a circle in isometric drawing. So, all those things are what we are going to be covering in the course of this video. If you are finding value already in what I've said so far, please give it a thumbs up. Now, for us to, um, to draw isometric drawing, there are some tools that we are going to need. There are some tools that we are going to need. One of uh, the tools that we are going to need are what? One of the major things we are going to need is our T square. Like you can see, I already have it here, the T square. Then you are going to need, obviously, you are going to need your drawing board. And make sure your in your drawing board, the working edge is what I mean by the working edge. Let me move my board. Now, this edge here, make sure it is very smooth so that you can move your T square like this, you know, without having any issue. Make sure the working edge is still smooth. Okay, let me reposition it. So that so I've mentioned you are going to need your T square. And then you are going to need the 60 and 30 degrees set square. Now we know the, the set square they come in this and they are of two types. Let me show you. This is this one is the 45 degrees set square. We are not going to be using this, but this is what we are going to be using. Because, like I said, 
isometric drawing, the horizontal axis are drawn at an angle of 30 degrees. So this is what is going to be giving us the 30 degrees. So if you want a 30 degrees like this, so what you just do is you place it on your T-square. You see? So once you place it on your T-square and then you have your, your straight line. So this angle here will give us our 30 degrees. So if you want it in the other way, you know, this is the way I placed it. If you want it, you just turn it like this. Pay attention to it, you can see. Then you place it on your on your T-square. You let, make sure it is resting on your T-square like this. You can see, and this here will give you your 30 degrees. And then to get your vertical, the vertical line, once you place it like this, and that will give you your vertical line. So don't, just don't worry if it's not still clear. I believe once we start to do some of some examples, I believe it will be clear to you. So I've said you are going to need your T-square, your drawing board, your 60 and 30 degrees, um, your set square. And then for the, when we start to look at the circle, how to draw a circle in isometric projection, we are going to need our compass. We are going to need our compass. So these are the basic things we are going to need. And any other drawing tools, like you are going to need your eraser and, and your ruler. Now, one thing that we are not going to be making use of is our protractor. You can see, we are not going to be making use of this at all. You are not going to need it. You are not going to need it. So these are the tools that we are going to need. Let me just show you again. So the T-square, your set square, your compass, and obviously your pencil, your, your ruler, your drawing sheet, your drawing board. So those are the tools that we are going to be uh, need in the course of drawing isometric projection and i'm going to leave a link to some of these tools if you're interested in getting them if, in case you don't have them or you want to get something new i'll leave a link to them in the description of this video so before we start to draw our uh some of this drawing under isometric projection there's something i want us to note is this now if you are drawing uh isometric drawing when you are dealing with isometric drawing make sure that Especially if you are a beginner, pay attention to, to this. If, especially if you are a beginner, make sure that you first of all draw in faint lines. In faint lines. For example, you are going to be seeing it when we start constructing, but I, I just want to mention it now so that you, you can be aware. Especially if you are a beginner, like I said earlier, you make sure you draw it with a faint line. So let's say I'm, I'm, I'm drawing um, a box now. I'm going to first of all start with a faint line. So once I've been, I've drawn it with a faint line and I'm very sure that this is, I've gotten what I want. So let's say this is our faint line. Then after that, I can decide to make it with a bold line. That is, um, with this bold line. That's outline, you can see. So you make it with bold line. You are going to see more of this when we start uh, doing the examples that I have for you. So, so that is what I want to cover in, the, uh, in this introduction of this video under isometric drawing. So in the uh, subsequent part of this video, like I said, we are going to start drawing isometric drawings. So these are the drawings that we are going to be looking at, all these drawings. I'm going to be putting you through how to go about them using these tools that I've just shown you. So, so this, you know, we have, I have a lot of them here. So if, if that interests you, please make sure you subscribe, kindly click on that subscribe button so that you get notified when I release uh, all in all these videos are being released and if maybe you are watching it in later time when all the videos are has been released I'm going to leave a link to all the videos in the description of this particular video so do make sure you check them so that is it for this video thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next part the next part of this video we are going to be starting with this very simple isometric drawing with this particular one I'm going to be showing you how to do this and that video will be coming up immediately after this so you don't need to leave you don't need to skip so just make sure you watch this video to the end and please before you go please click on that subscribe button it's absolutely free to subscribe it won't cost you anything and with that i'll see you all in the next part of this video thank you